friends, it is Tracy, it is Friday, and it is Saving Challenge Day, which is my favorite video of the week. Do I have some favorite videos of the month? Yes, but this is a weekly video. <laughs> Alright, so I save $180 every single week, and yeah, <laughs> I've been very fortunate that I've been able to still stick to the $180. There might be a point where it has to get reduced, honestly, but for now I've been able to do it. Uh, let's make sure we have that money. 20, 40, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 180 dollars. However, 80 of that is a line item in my budget and it goes towards these two save 2024 and 2024 challenges. So let's pull out the $80 right away. 20, 40, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80. <laughs> the other $100 I'm gonna set aside. This will come into play with all of our other savings challenges, but $80 directly from my budget goes towards these. So I have two 2024 challenges that I'm working on. I have Madeline Budgets, which looks like our next number is 40. I like to go in order, I know. <laughs> I can't do two of them in a row because that would put me over my budget of 80, that would be 85. So we're gonna do the $40, the one on this one, and then the other 40 will go into my Saving 2024 cow book from Carmen over at the Humble Budgeter. So we're gonna set aside $40 for Madeline, and then 25, 35, $40 for Carmen's book. And we'll do Carmen's book next. We always start with Madeline's. And this one is getting really exciting for me because I feel like we're just like on this final stretch. Now, are there some hefty numbers in here? Absolutely. <laughs> but we're getting closer and closer and closer. So we have our $40. Let me color in this box. And voila! <laughs> we have $40 saved in there. So I'm gonna put this 220s, which make $40 into my envelope. And we're just getting this. Yes. Uh, this is going to go towards furniture. So originally I had said that I was going to use these towards travel. However, for travel, my parents bought a house in Florida. So now I have a place to stay for free. So I don't have to pay for lodging. I will still have to buy a plane ticket because I'm not going to drive down there by myself. So I will have to pay for a plane ticket but it is such a great option for me to get away in the winter time in minnesota it is dark and dreary and cold and you need sunshine <laughs> so where do you go the sunshine state i think that's florida right <laughs> anyways let's count this so i have 1000 1200 1300 20 40 60 80 1400 20 40 60 80 95 1500 and five dollars yay <laughs> so we really have like five hundred dollars more to go which is crazy like so cool <laughs> all right so fifteen hundred and five is saved in this one now let's do our cows all right so here is our 2024 savings challenge book this is from carmen and we have the remaining forty dollars to put in there you guys can count right <laughs> What I do with this one is I load up a calculator with the $40 because this is a scratch and save book. There's other challenges in here, but it's predominantly scratch and save. And so with that, you get variable numbers and then we'll scratch until we've used up all of the money. Look how many pages that we finished. I should finish this one cow. <laughs> it depends on my mood. Sometimes I don't feel like coloring and sometimes I wanna color. This one is a catch all, so we'll get back to that. We can finish this page today. And yeah, there's only two left on here. So we got a three, so subtract three, and a five. <laughs> so we have $32 left, and let's go to another page. I have been staying at my friend's house for um, a period of time, and my... <laughs> Her little three-year-old is watching Miss Rachel, and so now every time I do like a simple task, I feel like my voice goes into Miss Rachel voice. <laughs> I'm like, three, three. <laughs> if you 
watch Miss Rachel, you know. <laughs> All right, let's scratch some more on the next page. Ooh, we got a five. Ooh, the bonus is $10. Oof. <laughs> we do the bonus at the end, so we're not worrying about that today. A one. I just thought it was a little scary to see. Ooh, there's a 10. <laughs> and these numbers are one through 10, so we are prepared for it. Let's do this one, a three. So we have 13 left. We can go again, because it's one through 10. Two, so we can actually go another time. See, if I get a 10, I'm still good, because I have $1 left. Let's do this one. One. <laughs> So I can go again. Wow, this is really working out. Now, if I could scratch a 10, and I know some of you are saying, just do the bonus, just do the bonus. No, I like to do the bonus at the end. <laughs> five. Okay, we're going to stop at that then. So five. That means we have $5 left. All right, so this is where we go backwards now to my puzzle pieces. Three, four, five. I can finish off this row. Awesome. All right, so I colored in all those, which is added to $5. So now we have spent the entire $40. And we have two more rows on this one, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but don't worry, there's like so many more challenges to go. But each page is really a small amount. There's just a lot of pages in here. Honestly, it's a lot of pages. <laughs> but we are getting there. Now let's add this money and see how close. I know we're super close to the $1,000 mark. And I can't wait to get a $1,000 placeholder in here. I just think it'll be so cool. All right, so we got fives and a 20. All right, let's see what we're at. 500, 700, 800, 900. Oh, we better hit the 1,000. 20, 40, 55, 65, 75, 85. No, 86, 87, 88. $988. Okay, next week we are hitting it. <laughs> but how cool. We're going to have $1,000 soon. And we have $1,500 in the other one, which is so good that this money is going to go towards furniture. I am moving into an apartment next month. So I need to buy some furniture. I'm going to try to find some like used stuff too to decorate. Um, I need to be budget conscious, obviously. <laughs> I already have a bed like there's certain things I don't have to buy really the big thing I have to buy is a couch that's the only thing that I have to purchase um and then just like maybe some new dishes and that kind of thing um pots and pans but I have stuff to use in the meat interim so there's like no pressure to like go out and overblow a budget to get that stuff it's just things that I would like to have down the road and luckily the holidays are coming up so <laughs> pretty sure I know what I'm going to be asking for am I uh, for my gift list is just going to be a stuff for my apartment <laughs> because that's what 40 is <laughs> all right next up is georgette so this is from marlene over at snow gardener 307 i love marlene and i love this book it is so good i am slowly working on it this is like the first book she ever released she has so many more things now but I have this one and I want to work through it and I want to finish it. So I'm just going to keep chugging along. This is going towards month ahead. So what I do is I just stick like a business card holder in here and I stuck a piece of paper in to let me know which long-term sinking fund I want to work towards. With me transitioning to an apartment, I want to have um, month ahead money set aside so that I can um, pay all my living expenses for that month ahead of time. I've currently was always a month ahead but life is just changing right now. So I want to make sure that I'm established again with a month ahead um, account. So working towards it, each one of these pages, I did a different long-term sinking fund. Some were for a new car, some was for travel, et cetera. Right now I'm on this taco page, which really would be like March if I was doing this as a monthly thing <laughs> or May, sorry, not March, May, which shows you how far behind I am. Obviously, this would be June, etc. But it's okay. We're just going to work on it at our own pace. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right. So let's scratch on here. I'm only doing one on the front because there's way more on the back side. So I'm kind of doing a little on the front and then focusing on the back. So this is going to be $2. 
Then this money is coming out of that extra $100. So I budgeted 180, 80 of it went to the 2024 challenge. And then this is the remaining $100. So we're gonna grab $2 and put that there. And the back side is where there's so much more. So we're gonna do a little bit heavier on the back side today. And we got $4 for hard shell or $6 for soft shell. Okay, I like both. Honestly, I like both. For the sake of this, I'm gonna go hard shell. Why? Because I feel like it. <laughs> it saves me a little bit of money. Although I want money for that, yes, but I do love a hard shell. And I can't have flour tortillas because I'm gluten-free due to celiac. So I get corn tortillas and honestly, they're not as good. They're good, but not as good. So um, next up is a dollar. So let's do the dollar to bypass this one. And now we have another scratchy scratch. And these are all scratches in between here. Oh, we gotta have some taco seasoning. <laughs> We're making them homemade style, right? With the little pouch, sprinkle it in. <laughs> so we're gonna add $2, let's keep going. Ooh, cheese, right? Yes, I like cheese. Oh, I am actually very grateful that I don't have a dairy. So I'm gluten-free, but I can have dairy. I might cry if I had to get rid of cheese. <laughs> I really might cry. I just, I love cheese. I'm in the Midwest. Like, we're cheese people. <laughs> Stop for Marg's. Um, yes, I actually went out for tacos and margaritas with my best friend last night, and it was so good. <laughs> I took a picture of us with holding our margarita glasses. Mm, yummy. All right, we're going to do $10 in and take out a one since it was nine, but we're going to stop there because margaritas are not cheap. <laughs> And who knows what's under this one? I mean, these ones I know, but the uh, scratchers, I don't know. All right, so what did we put in here today? 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3. Okay, $23. I gave this one a lot of love today. <laughs> Which means it's going to be a little bit tight on the other ones, but that's okay because the month ahead is very important. So far, I have 20, 35, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. $55 saved towards my month ahead, which is kind of cool. That was my basketball number when I played. Um, I played basketball. I did traveling league, and 55 was always my number for traveling. And then for school ball, sometimes I get that number, but sometimes I didn't. <laughs> but 55 for traveling basketball, absolutely. Okay, this is where we're going to start next time. Thank you, Marlene. I love this book. I love it. She has a travel one. I think she has a mini one now. She's just, she's just cranking stuff out, you guys. She is amazing. Next up is taco time. <laughs> this is a Taco Tuesday savings binder. If you guys don't know already, I love tacos. I, it's like my default. If anyone's like, what do you want for dinner? I'm like, Mexican, tacos, whatever. Um, I will almost always suggest it. I just love them. This is a collab between Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets and Champagne over at Champagne's Corner. And what you do is you save whatever the Tuesday of every single week is, you save that number for the whole year. So it'll add up to $838 for 2024 because I have the 2024 version. And let's go to the month that we're on now, which is September. How are we already in September? <laughs> Honestly, oh, it's crazy. Okay, so five, ten dollars. And and I know like time goes by fast as you get older. Like it just feels like it slips away. And when you're a kid, you're like, oh, it takes forever, right? But as an adult, like, dang, your life is just flying by. My dad would always say, like, you only have one life, you gotta enjoy it. So, you know, it flies by, but have fun. Uh, we should have $13, 5, 10, 11, 12, $13 saved so far. So the 10th was what it was on Tuesday. Obviously it's the 13th today because it's Friday, but the 10th is what Tuesday was. And I say that. So next Tuesday is the 17th of September. So I will save $17. Um, just my normal disclaimer for those that are new. 
The version of this book that I have are individual envelopes per month. This is a special version that they made just for me. The one that's in their shop is just dashboards with one envelope at the back. When I do my 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 <laughs> my 2025 book that was gifted to me um, by a mystery person, but thank you. And that one will be a dashboard version with the envelope in the back. So I will be back to the normal style. In all honesty, I love the individual envelopes, but I know it's a lot of work to make them. <laughs> so I will be sad when my individual envelopes go away, but it'll be nice that I have one that matches you guys. Because <laughs> I always feel bad. You see my version and then people want that and that's not available. <laughs> all right, next is my auntie. Super auntie. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, I... Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets made me this cover. So I do the pet mashup, which is from Save with Sydney Bear. Hers just comes with a dashboard and then the cards. And she was like, you need an auntie cover. And even if I get done with this challenge, I will probably put more challenges behind there and keep this cover. I love it so much. <laughs> it's, uh, it's blue, which is my favorite. And then I do sewing, so it kind of looks like patchwork. I don't know. I just... I love it. I love it. And I love being an auntie. It is just the most rewarding thing. I was able to go to my nephew's football game on Tuesday. So I recorded Tuesday and I showed you guys my Wednesday video. And then Saturday I have my niece's softball. So she does fall ball and I love it. So I get to go see two of her games on Saturday. And this auntie life is just amazing. I try to go to stuff when I can. Do I get to everything? No. I do have some nieces and nephews that live out of state. So sadly, they don't get as much from me because I'm just not as accessible. But the ones that are near and close by, I try to do what I can. <laughs> I just love those little guys and girls and whatever. <laughs> All right, let's roll this. So Super Auntie activated. Uh, pet mashup is from Save with Sydney Bear. It is so cute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the die. We're going to do blue on top, green on the bottom. So we got four and two. So the number four top is the cheese, but we've already done them all. And the two is the unicorn. So we can keep the unicorn. And we're going to go, ooh, double unicorn. So we're actually, oh, that one's full too. Four, we already had that. Six. I was going to say, I might just have to default to picking a page. Okay, this works. <laughs> we got a chick corn or a unichick. <laughs> unic, unic, a unic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's do, we went a little heavy on the month ahead. Let's do the five for the sun shines, lollipops in. Well, this is terrible coloring, but that's okay. <laughs> that was terrible. And so we did five and we'll do this dollar. So six dollars. And I think I'm just going to do one today since I went heavier with the month ahead, and that's okay. But I love it because the, ma the max number is 10, and the smallest numbers are 1. So they're just so cute. I mean, come on, the cheese, the little puppy dog. I love the puppy dog. And the kitty cat. Oh. I was up north with my family last weekend, and... I have one sibling that has a Boston Terrier, and I have one sibling that has a French Bulldog, and I got to see two of my favorite dogs all weekend long, and it was so, oh, they're just so cute. They're so cute. Uh, the Boston is definitely, she's still puppy, and so she had puppy energy, and she's hopping around, which is what Boston Terriers do. They're energetic. They're, yeah. And then the Frenchie, she's a little bit older and she was just like a little diva and she just kind of did her own thing and slept a lot. So <laughs> they both are my spirit animals in very different ways. <laughs> All right. How much have we saved so far? 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 218 dollars and this will save 300 dollars when it's done. So cool. I just love this thing. And I love that Ren made me this super auntie dashboard cover. I just think it's so cute. 
<laughs> all right, let's do our regular saving challenges. All right, so saving challenge book, my balloon animal lets me know where we left off. And let's pull out a toasty card. This is from Ren. I love these toasts. I know we're getting close to being done. 12. Woo. I mean, at least it's avocado. I will eat avocado on toast. I will not eat tomato on toast, but I'll eat avocado. All right, so let's do $12. 5, 10, 11, 12. 12. And we'll put our little card here at the back. I think we only have a few cards left. One, two, three, four, five. Five cards left to go. And yes, I need to get a Liz challenge in rotation here. You guys love my little stories. And I need to finish up a challenge so I have an envelope open. And then I can put her back in rotation. And not that I don't want her in rotation. I just only want so many challenges in play. Otherwise, it gets overwhelming. So what have I saved so far? 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, yeah that didn't look weird at all but <laughs> $85 has been saved so far oh I just love these toasts <laughs> yes next is the star one from cheesecake budgets all right this one is a roll and save I've already done the scratch one on the back so it's a double sided this one was a scratch and save this one's a roll and save so I'm going to roll both of these die and see what happens five and one. So we got a five and a one. So we're going to add six dollars. Five and six. Woohoo! So, so far we have saved between the two sides. 20, 45, 50, one, two, three. 53 dollars. We have one, two, three, four left to go. I just love the, the aesthetics of this one. It just, yeah, it resonates with me. <laughs> Um, this one is from Stuff and Budget. Absolutely love this girl. And I think this is such a fun challenge. So this is going to see how fast I was speeding. I am not a speeder. I'll go like five to seven over, but that's it. I won't go over 10. <laughs> Let's see. We went 37. So 37 means we pay $4. So let's do a second one. Ooh, 52. Um, so that one is also $4. So $8 is going in today. Five, six, seven, eight. And I just think it's so cute. <laughs> All right, so we say 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. $27 so far. I don't know exactly what this is gonna add up to. It might have said it in the description, but a lot of times I just buy these challenges and I don't really look what's on the description. <laughs> I know, I'm one of those people. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is Pop It Like It's Hot and it reminds me of Snoop Dogg every single time. This is from Hall of Savings. Nine, okay, you're only getting one because you were rude today. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine. Not really, but <laughs> it just kind of felt fun to say that. So how much have we saved so far? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 26 dollars out of 65. I just think it's so cute. <laughs> I feel like this is me and my friends just sitting on the beach <laughs> trying to be all cool. Get it? Cool. <laughs> Oh, I really need to put a new envelope in here. Okay. Next is Honey Money. This is from Reinventing Renee. We are on the hefty one right now. So it started off nice. We paid a dollar per symbol. Then we paid $3, then $5, then $7. Now we're at the $9 and it's not as nice. Um, 5, 10, 15. I want to get 15. Three of them done, right? 15, 16, 17, 18. Well, 18 only gets two done because I can't math. <laughs> so nine and nine is 18. So we're going to do two sets of little bees here. And they're just going to be purple bees. So that's one set for nine. And this is one set for nine. So now we only have two sets left to go. 
and then we will finish it. And I just think it's so cute. So let's add in our $18. Yes, I went a little big on it, I know. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 126 dollars. That is adding up fast. And it started off really nice and easy. Okay. We have our lemon one. Yes, we are doing the lemons from my friend Lizzie over at Busy Lizzie's Budget. Okay. <laughs> Lovely lemons. These might be high numbers. I don't even know how much we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's get an eight or less. Otherwise, I'm going to have an IOU. <laughs> and we might just have an IOU, and it's okay. But if we don't, it's even better. One dollar. <laughs> when life gives you lemons, it's only a dollar. <laughs> All right, well, let's add our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I recounted it just in case. So 25, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, one, two, three, four. So we saved $34 so far. Yes, it's gonna have an IOU, which is oh so lovely. <laughs> but it's the name of the game. I actually haven't had an IOU in a while, so we'll take it. All right, so I have this little IOU slip. We're just going to add $1 on there because that's what I owe. And this is going to go on the end here because I owe a dollar. Hopefully that doesn't fall off. Sometimes they do. <laughs> but that is it for today. We have spent all of our money. We got to do most of the challenges. We didn't get to Would You Rather um, or my monthly one. But we got through a lot of them today. And I'm very impressed with myself. <laughs> Now, if I could learn to button a thing, I'd be good. Anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. I will be at a softball games, and that's about all I have planned. So, it'll be fun. I hope you guys have a wonderful one, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye, friends.